Like... No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Hey everyone, and welcome to What Did I Miss? Where today I'm here to bring you some updates on two series I love that I've been reporting on, and these two shows are The Orville and Babylon 5. If you do watch my channel, you know that I've been documenting The Orville's production of their third season for almost a year, but the show itself has been trying to get the third season made for over two years now, and fans like myself have been patiently waiting. On the other hand, just recently it was revealed by the creator of Babylon 5, J. Michael Straczynski, that he was writing a script for a Babylon 5 revival series with the hopes of a pilot being put into production in 2022. Well, the last 24 hours or so have not been good to fans of both shows like me, as both have had to release statements on the future of their productions. Here I will read statements from both creators about these unfortunate changes, and also let you know what I think it could mean for both of their futures. But first, as always, I want to thank you for clicking on this video, and ask that if you do enjoy the content, to please hit that like button to help support the channel. If you want to be kept up to date on all the breaking news in the world of sci-fi, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell as well so that YouTube lets you know when my videos come out. So first, let's start with The Orville, as this news is probably the most surprising. Especially since only a few months ago, The Orville finally released a premiere date for their long-awaited third season, which was set for March 10th, 2022. At the time of this news, fans were cautiously optimistic about the prospects of not only the third season, but for the series to continue on after, with series creator Seth MacFarlane stating that he would love to continue to do the show, but that it would depend on fan support. Since then, fans have been eagerly awaiting a trailer, as so far only a few behind-the-scenes photos have been released, along with one official still from the upcoming season. Well, it looks like now we know why we have not seen a trailer yet, as Hulu has announced that the third season of The Orville will now begin to air on June 2nd of 2022, not in March. Seth MacFarlane took to social media to explain the decision to push the show back three more months, while also expressing his gratitude and understanding to all the fans that have been waiting for this release. He said the following, to all the Orville fans, thanks for being so patient with us as we've navigated the production challenges resulting from the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. As occasionally happens, our show has been repositioned amidst this ever-changing television schedule landscape, which means that the wait will be just a bit longer, and we're now planning for a June 2nd launch on Hulu. We always promised you a television experience that will make it worth the wait, and we're not wavering on that. With this news, Mr. McFarlane, along with Hulu, released a short clip from the season opener, as well as a brand new intro for the series. The clip shows the Orville in a massive space battle against the Kalon, with the Orville engaged against them along with what appears to be dozens of other Union ships. I also saw ships from the Krill Empire, a reptilian-like race of religious zealots that were adversaries of the Union before the end of the second season brought both races together against the common enemy at the Battle of Earth. The Krill did not sign a treaty with the Union, but rather a ceasefire pact, so that they could work together to stop the Kalon from eradicating all biological life in the universe. In the clip, we also see Marcus Finn running through the ship while it explodes around him until he comes upon his brother Ty. Then a Kalon enters the room, which they assume is Isaac, the Kalon member of the Orville crew, but instead the Kalon's face turns monstrous. While the clip is filled with action, I would not be surprised if this turns out to be a nightmare and not an actual event. Both Ty and Marcus were present at the Battle of Earth and were very important to the events that led to the Union winning the fight, so it would not be a surprise if one or both suffered some trauma from these events. I'm surprised that this is the clip that Hulu and Seth MacFarlane chose to release, and it leads me to believe that the series is indeed very behind on post-production and does not have many scenes ready for public consumption. The reason I'm surprised this clip was released is that it does not really tease fans back into wanting to watch the show. Usually this is done by reintroducing fans to the main characters, and none are anywhere in this clip. In fact, if you were just a casual fan and saw this clip online, you may not even realize it was for the upcoming season of The Orville. This clip may be a sign that the third season will continue to be a darker iteration of the series, as most fans recognize the difference in tone already between the first season of the show, which was more lighthearted and silly than the second season. But this may be exactly what the fans and critics want to see, as the second season has been labeled one of the most successful dramas since 2015 that Fox had aired. Even now on the website Rotten Tomatoes, the second season holds an 100% score while the first season stands at just 30%. Personally, I hope the series is able to balance both aspects of the show in the third season, as I think it can be very funny at times while also challenging the audience with deep and personal stories. Now that the third season has been delayed again, of course people will wonder if this is the final nail in the coffin for the show. Rumors have been rampant that this is in fact the case, and even actress Adrienne Palicki, who plays Commander Kelly Grayson, has been quoted as saying the third season is the final season for the show. But I don't necessarily think that this is the case, 
and the fact that Hulu is moving the show later in the year may actually be a sign that they are pushing the show so that it can be renewed again. There have been many series and movies in the past few months that have had their release dates moved due to the recent surge of COVID cases, so fans of The Orville are not the only fans affected by this new wave of the pandemic. Also, it has been reported that The Orville has been in post-production for a longer timeline than usual, not only due to COVID, but because of the extensive use of computer-generated effects this season compared to others. CGI is not something you want to rush, especially if you are a science fiction show, so in the end, this move will undoubtedly produce a better product once it is released. So I'm still optimistic for the future of the series and will be watching it when it is released. But sound off in the comments, let us know what you think about this latest news. Now for an update on the revival of the beloved sci-fi epic Babylon 5, which as I mentioned earlier was announced by J. Michael Straczynski. In his social media post in 2021, he told fans that he was writing a pilot script for the CW Network, which is a joint venture that is currently owned by CBS and Warner Brothers, and that there was a lot of excitement at the network about the idea of a revival of Babylon 5. Yesterday, Mr. Sosinski once again took to social media to update fans on the project, and revealed that the script was not picked up by the network, but that the project was not dead yet. He said the following, about a month or so ago, it was announced that the CW Network, B5's home for the last year, while the pilot script was in active development, was up for sale. When news of this broke, the immediate question was, will this have any effect on B5? Situations like this have a way of upending development because new owners usually want to put their imprimatur on what programs go forward. Like everyone else, I'd hope there would be no immediate impact and that progress on the project will continue onward unabated. A few days ago, I heard from Inside Warner Brothers that there were a number of high-level conversations taking place with the CW to determine how many pilots and what sort could be picked up during this transition, especially given pre-existing deals and commitments. This made sense given the preceding paragraph, but I remained optimistic. Today, about an hour ago, Deadline Hollywood announced a slate of pilot scripts being picked up for production by the CW. Babylon 5 was not on that list. While this is not what fans of the show wanted to hear, Mr. Szynski did go on to say that while the script was not put into production, it is being shelved with the possibility of it being picked up in 2023. With the CW now in the process of being sold, unfortunately, it appears that Babylon 5 may be in a similar situation that the Orville was in during the sale of its former network Fox to the Disney Corporation. During times of transition such as this, studios are less likely to take risks on projects knowing that when their company is sold, the new leadership will possibly not be behind it. This is why many people believe that the Orville would never get a third season after Fox was sold to Disney. And even though the third season has yet to be released, we can already see there are large creative differences between the seasons produced at Fox and the one produced at Hulu. Now it looks like Babylon 5 will also have to wait for the CW to be sold, but since Warner Brothers also owns HBO, I'm still holding out that Babylon 5 could end up there. But Mr. Straczynski did stress that the only real difference because of this news is that instead of the Babylon 5 revival being in development for 2022, now it is in development for 2023. So he is obviously still very hopeful his script will get produced. But let me know in the comments, do you still want to see a Babylon 5 reboot or do you think that the reboot will never see the light of day? Well, that is all I have for today, but let me know in the comments if I missed anything. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. Please hit that like button if you have enjoyed it and I will see you next time on What Did I Miss?